Hi, I'm Mark Lemming from CO2Meter.com and I'd like to show you how easy it is to install and use our wall-mounted CO2 storage safety alarms. These alarms constantly monitor enclosed areas for high levels of carbon dioxide. If a leak occurs, a visible and audible alarm will sound on both the sensor and a remote display. This makes it easy to monitor CO2 levels in your business for a fraction of the cost of custom systems. Now when you receive the unit, here's what you'll get in the box. First is the CO2 sensor display unit. This is what you mount inside the area with the enclosed carbon dioxide where it's stored. You get a 110 220 volt wall mounted power supply, 26 foot cable, and two relays. These can be used for ventilation, fans, uh, warning flashers. The um, unit comes with the remote display. This allows people to see the CO2 levels before they enter the enclosure. And you can daisy chain these if you have multiple doors. It comes with all the mounting hardware you need for the system. There's a power supply lock make sure the power supply isn't inadvertently unplugged and a full manual with all of the instructions and setup information you need for the system finally an OSHA certified warning label that you'll mount on the wall to tell people what to do if they see a CO2 leak uh, we're going to start by mounting the sensor unit about 18 inches off the floor and it's because the sensor unit uh, mount, uh, sense of CO2, which is heavier than air. We mount it close to power, but away from where it could accidentally be hit by a forklift truck or boxes, etc. And it is IP rated splash certified, so if you're doing some cleaning around it, uh, once you get that mounted, you don't want to plug it in. The next thing we want to do is run the cable to the remote display unit. The remote display unit will be mounted outside the door to the CO2 storage. And after we've run the cable to it, we want to install the remote display on the wall at eye level. The reason it's at eye level, obviously, we want people to be able to see the alarm before they walk through the door. Once we've got that installed, we'll go ahead and plug in the cable and mount that to the frame of the door and this is the time to put the sticker on the wall to tell customers or employees or emergency personnel what to do if there's a CO2 alarm. At this point you're ready to power the unit on. Go ahead and plug it in, it automatically turns itself on, does a full hardware self-test and uh, every time on power on and this would be a time to mount the uh, uh, power lock and make sure that that's not unplugged. Now for testing the sensor, uh, you have a couple of options. First you want to check and see that it's normal indoor air. That's uh, usually anywhere from 300 parts per million to 1200 parts per million. Next, if you've got some compressed CO2, you can use a tube like we did to uh, blow the CO2 on it or you can exhale repeatedly. Uh, human breath is about 3% CO2 and either one will set off the alarm. We verify that the alarm sounds, the lights flash, first alarm one, second alarm two, and you know the unit is working. What you also want to verify is the external uh, remote display unit is also flashing and the alarm is sounding and that will continue until the CO2 levels drift back to normal.